To create any documentation on your chart, we can use our test system. Ensure that you are in the red background test system and also ensure that you're in the correct subdivision. Clicking on the subdivision button in your footer icon, ensure to change your facility to Ontario Shores Ambulatory. Once you've done this, click on OK and let's access our chart. I'm going to be selecting a patient from my calendar here. Once you are here, to create a document, you click on the document button. If this is the first time that you're accessing the document button, you, will, you can add favorites to your list. To do this, you can either scroll through your list of available documents or search by name. Some of the documents that you may want to add to your favorites include workload. This is for the patient. There will also be a workload Wilma for non-service recipient, non-registered patients, and workload groups. You may also want to add the crisis prevention plan. The outpatient recovery assessment. Patient story. Outpatient SBAR, the mental status assessment, and maybe the outpatient med, med administration. For those of you using the, who do not use the outpatient recovery plan of care, you may also want to add the outpatient discharge template. This will be the standard outpatient summary documentation that you will use to discharge your patient. Your generic SOAPI note is called progress report. This report will not go to the patient portal. Demographic update will still be the, the document that you will use to update any patient demographic or primary clinician information. Otherwise, if you are specific to a clinic, you will see that there is specific clinic documentation available to you. If you have any questions, please reach out to professional practice emailing all professional practice to find out where your additional documentation could be found. Let's go into the mental status assessment to look at some documentation features. Now that the mental status is loaded, you will find that the name of your document is listed up top. You also have this preview button available to you. If I click on that, it will display what your document will look like. Click on it again to go back to the edit view. Save allows you to save this documentation in draft. You can see that the last saved date and time will now appear now that I've clicked on save as well as the author's name and designation. Across the top here are the different sections of the mental status assessment. You will have to toggle through each one to ensure that you fill it in properly, or you can toggle by clicking on these blue headers as you go through your documentation. The cog wheel here will allow you additional features such as canceling a document, you can only cancel a document if it is still in draft. If it has been signed off, 
you will have to create an IT ticket to ensure that the documentation can be moved back into draft and canceled. To document on the mental status assessment, you're going to click on the blue header here. Clicking on it provides you with the details of this documentation. You can document as per usual. If you skip a question, and it, it will not appear on the final output. For example, I've only documented these sections here. If I click on the preview, you'll see that only what I've documented will now appear. And click out back in the edit button. Once I've completed this section, I can click on the CSSR to move on to my next section. Alternatively, if I want to look at previous risks, I can toggle back and click on this section here instead. Both options will take you to the same documentation. Once you're happy with the documentation, you can save and you can sign. If you're not ready to sign and you need to create a, a second document, you can click on the document button to take you out. You'll see that the mental status assessment is in draft and I have the ability to start on a new document. You'll see that my sign queue has a one in it denoting that I have one outstanding document requiring me to sign for this chart. To do this, I can click on the sign button, review this, and if there are no required questions, I can click on submit, and I'll be prompted to sign the document. Now it's cleared. I can close this to return back to the chart. Clicking back into the chart and refreshing my document button, you'll see my mental status assessment is gone. I can click on the chart button to look at provider notes, which is where my new documentation will file towards. This may take a couple minutes for it to update to assign status. If you have any questions, please open an IT ticket or connect with all professional practice for any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you.